What is going on guys, it's Crazy Pickle with another Skyforge video for the ultimate beginner's guide. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about gear stats, which is gonna go over every stat, you know, see there is some description we can read about it, I'm pretty sure you already maybe read about it, you know, but you may be still confused, you know, what stats you actually need. At the end of this video, I will actually show my setup for the full DPS that I'm using it, and I'm fine with it, so I'm pretty sure some other people may use some slightly something different but I'm just gonna show you what I use on everyday basis as a DPS setup so all right guys let's get started all right so we're gonna open the equipment menu and you can see all of your stats on the right side of your screen and before i start going ev about every stat <clears throat> on that column i'm just gonna want to say that every piece of gear has certain stats that could apply to the piece so for example ring and amulet would have same stats that could apply to those two items and slightly different stats on the brooch and bracelet so that way you can you know play around with it you know which stats you want to get and if you want to know which stats could apply to certain piece you can go to your bag you can open the item upgrades choose the piece you want to look click the modification button right here and then it will show you all the stats that the piece of gear you have and then if you hover above the stat, it will show you the list of the stats. So the first three, as we know, it's the key stats. And then three bottom one is the secondary stats. So if we hover about any of the key stats right here, it will show us what stats we can apply to this piece, which is in my case, it's a ring. And you can see the list. It will also show you the value, the minimum value and the max value that you can get for each stat. So if we're going to hover above the secondary stats, you can see uh, which secondary stats you can get for the ring. So it will same apply to the amulet. Obviously, the ring and amulet would be the same, slightly different for the brooch and bracelet you probably can see it by the list of it you know slightly couple of different stats here and there and same thing would apply to the gems of power so that's out of the way let's go back to the equipment and we're just gonna go straight to the stats so don't mind the strength of unity it's when you are in the group damage deal is increased by depends how many people obviously the 10 men maps you can only have 10 people it's gonna be certain percentage for that <clears throat> but we're only talking about the gear stats right now so we're gonna start with a critical chance everybody knows what it is the more percentage you have the often you crit while you deal damage to the boss enemy uh, etc or players it's how often you crit companions cooldown as you can see companions attack has X percent chance to be instantly recharged and your companion attacks if you don't know and I'm just gonna close this and if you can see my health bar on the right side of it you can see the number three which is my dashes and above that it's a number two so this is the energy discharge or impulse charge or basic companion attacks so that part whatever percentage you have it will recharge that faster so it has the specific percent uh, percentage chance to get that charge back again and use it again what's the impulse charge real quick what's the impulse charge does for certain abilities for certain classes it decreases the cooldown of certain abilities so the more you know uh, impulse charges you have and you use it the faster the you know you can get the ability back and use it again you know to do long damage maybe buff your ally etc so that's out of the way the next one is uh, armor fracture your attack inflicts progressively more damage to the same target up to x percent in my case it's 3.6 by because i only have one stat on the bracelet and what it actually does when you attack the same target over and over again it will get to that x percentage damage that you can deal to that target so in my case i will only deal extra 3.6 percent to the same target over and over again it doesn't have you know like a lot of other explanation where you can look up for this armor fracture but as far as i know you know if you 
keep attacking the same target over and over again like let's say you're doing distortions and you always attack in one target because it's a boss that extra whatever percentage you have you will deal more damage to that enemy and the next one is the main damage which is damage that increasing to all of your attacks it's either basic attacks your abilities everything that you deal as uh, as a class or your character this is your main damage or just the basic you know like a basic damage whatever the other games could kind of says about that so this is your main damage it affects all of your abilities all of your attacks to the enemy consider of course the defenses of your enemy and stuff like that so the damage might different be different a little bit but this is what it does so the critical damage bonus and again as you already know it just multiplies your basic crit that you can do on specific percentage so let's say in my case it's 94 percent and let's say if i'll deal 1 million damage as a basic crit if i wouldn't have that stat at all but with this stat instead of 1 million i will deal almost 2 million damage so in that case would be 1 million 940 thousand damage it just multiplies your basic crit to the specific percentage that you have companion damage bonus uh, companion attacks inflicts x percent more damage so that's pretty simple whatever percentage you have it will be extra uh, damage from symbols it affects your ordinary symbols i'm not sure what exactly that means what i would assume that if we're gonna go to the symbols like the emblems of distractions uh, emblems of pain would affect that too I would assume some other symbols, you know, maybe Pain Shock would be affected by it. Like any symbols that deal some kind of a damage to your enemy, it should affect that symbol. So that's what it is, damage from symbols. Next goes damage to elite. It's also pretty simple, damage to elite monsters, which is your four bars and the bosses. Again, pretty simple, whatever percentage you have, obviously the specific number that you can go about, like that you can only get because you only have certain gear that you can get that damage to elite which i believe only the top pieces your jewelry and in my case you can see it's 36 percent then damage to minions it's all the mobs that lower than elite and the bosses so just the regular mobs it says two common common enemies is increased by x whatever percentage you have so usually you don't need that uh, it depends but in general that stat is rarely who's using unless there's extra bonuses and stuff but anyway let's move on to the next one which is the divine weapon cooldown again pretty simple divine weapons are charged x percent faster depends on how many percentage you have so because there is a kind of a cooldown on the divine weapon it just not showing you you know if you use the weapon it just not showing you what's the cooldown on the weapon uh, but th with this bonus uh, it will decrease the cooldown of the divine weapon again pretty basic pretty simple so the barrier is the rechargeable shield absorbs damage equals to x percent of your maximum health so let's say if you have i don't know 50 percent so it's 50 percent of your maximum health it will absorb damage so meaning that the more health you have the more damage shield will absorb but if you th that shield only can apply if you didn't receive any damage for some time usually it's about maybe three or up to like about three or five seconds i would say so if you haven't received any damage during that time you will get that shield for certain time then the next one is the general defense it's pretty much the same as the main damage but for your defense it all all incoming damage is reduced by whatever percentage you would have then protection against minions it's kind of the extra bonus against the common enemies again all the enemies below elites and the bosses so it will kind of adds up to your general defense if you if you wanted to you know if you're tanking and you're tanking a lot of enemies and the old enemies are common enemies so that definitely would help a little bit again depends on your might and uh, you know the gear and whatever setup you have then the protection against elites again pretty simple from the elites and the bosses your damage is re uh, the damage from the those enemies are reduced to whatever percentage you have healing efficiency so the healing orbs restores 
x percent more health again pretty simple if the basic orb without that stat let's say recovers you 10k health obviously if you have 50 percent healing efficiency then it's going to be 15k health makes sense pretty simple again maximum stamina stamina is your dashes so the more stamina you have the more dashes you can you have again the dashes are on the right side of my health bar it's a number three as you can see if i would have more stamina i would have more dashes i believe the max number of dashes you can have is 10 it's not gonna go above that pretty simple it's just your dashes when you like jumping this way like crazy so that's that's that and then so this stats actually goes from your main weapons range damage support aura damage to shield low, uh, lower targets defense endurance block shield durability control efficiency all of these stats it's from your weapons and then stats from for each invasion uh you get those obviously from the atlas and next one uh, i don't think this one is actually exist anymore i'm not sure it's why it's here maybe it still exists i don't know but we're talking about the gear stats right now so the range defense also pretty simple uh damage from enemies who are more than 20 meters or yards away is reduced by x percent if you stand in tw 20 meters or more from the enemy an enemy is a range attack and it keep attacking you that damage will be reduced uh, for whatever percentage you have then damage when combat starts uh, your damage is in the first 10 seconds of the combat is increased by in my case 39 percent meaning that every time you start a new battle combat you have 10 seconds when your damage will be increased by whatever percentage you have chain killing when three enemies are killed not just three i would say three or more like at the same time they died all three enemies at the same time damage is temporarily temporarily is increased by in my case 24 percent and i think it gives you buff for like 13 or 14 seconds so you do have some time when you can you know attack other enemies if you kill the first three at the same time ritual killing i'm kind of still not 100 percent you know understanding this part but it says finishing strike generates x percent greater charge for your divine weapon so something about the divine weapon i don't think anybody's using this uh, stat in general i don't i don't know if anybody actually used that at all maybe for testing and stuff like that but again something with your divine weapon then mobility when wounded uh taking damage may increase your movement speed pretty simple uh, mobility after dashing so every time you dash uh your movement speed is increased for whatever seconds uh, it only works in the combat as you can see then the crippling attack your attack may slow the enemy down for six seconds in my case because i do have uh two stats i think it's uh, yeah right here so it's a bracelet and the brooch crippling attack which is a pretty good combination for some other stat but we go down down there uh, i will show you that so the crippling attack uh, slow you have a chance to slow your enemies down defense after healing so every time you healing you, you pick up the healing orbs your defense increasing in my case for six seconds mobility after healing so when you heal your movement speed is increased then the group healing is pretty much the same as as a symbol would call it uh, emblems of mercy but in this case the group healing says nearby allies but the emblems of mercy healing the more wounded enemy instead so kind of keep that in mind so it might work as well depends on your team you know your power etc so if you're a support class you're playing that it might actually you know help at some point then companions chain attack uh, just companion attack hits four more targets instead of one uh, damage to stun targets so every time you i believe freeze the target or knock down the target you know like with the grenade from outlaw like some kind of a stun that actually stops the enemy they're not moving at all so that would be your damage will be increased to those enemies and this is where the part damage to slow targets what i was talking about crippling attack right so you your attack slows down the enemy and then you get that bonus damage to slow down targets by whatever percentage you have so kind of a pretty good combination right there then defense when wounded taking damage uh, may increase your defense for six seconds again we don't know the What's the chance of uh, getting that defense buff fr from this stat? Usually works like, pretty good 
uh, when you tank it. Then uh, protection against control. The duration of control effects applied to you is reduced by X percent. Depends on how many stats you have on your gear. And the last one is the melee defense. Damage from enemies within five yards is reduced. So everybody, so every enemy who is really up close to you in your face keep at attacking you. Pretty much everything. Even if it's a range enemy anyway. But if it's within five yards, then the damage will be reduced by x percent whatever you have so that's all the stats that you have that you can use in certain setups and stuff like that but since this video is for the beginner's guide we're gonna talk about full dps setup your setup actually you can see it right here i'm just gonna show each piece what i'm using for the dps setup green and amulet would have same stats Critical chance, damage to elite, main damage bonus. Then secondary stats, damage when combat starts, defense after healing, damage to stun targets. Then the brooch and bracelet would have the same stats as well. So critical damage, well, in, except of armor fracture, but I could have I, I could have changed to critical damage bonus, but whatever. But critical damage bonus, damage to elite, main damage bonus, secondary stats, damage when combat starts, crippling attack, damage to stun targets. So for this, both pieces, brooch and bracelet. Then gems of power, sapphire and ruby would have the same thing. Critical chance, critical damage bonus, main damage bonus, secondary stats, chain killing, damage to slow targets, defense. Uh, when wounded same thing as here and then the last one emerald of nature or emerald and topaz again so all of the gems the key stats for gems would be all the same critical chance critical damage bonus and main damage bonus but the secondary stats the only difference is companion chain attack on the topaz and emerald defense when wounded on ruby and sapphire and the chain killing damage to slow targets on all of the uh, all of the gems power so that's, that's the setup, just gonna show it real quick again, just like that, that you can see, you can pause the video if you wanted to, you know, write it down, make a screenshot, whatever. If you wanna use it the same setup, setup I'm using it, but that's what I'm running on daily basis as a DPS setup. So now you may ask, you know, how do I get those stats? It's pretty simple, again, you go to your bag, item upgrades, all the top pieces with the dot, it's the one that you equipped. So you can choose the piece you wanted and then you can go to the modification and this is the window where you reroll the stats. I think the more in-depth video for the rerolling stats are probably just gonna make for the next episode because right now I think this video is getting longer and longer. So I think for specifically for rerolling stats, I will definitely make a separate video and go from all the parts that you need, you know, like items maybe you can use, etc, etc. But this is where you re-roll in the stats. Of course, it costs credits, you know, you, if you lock the stat, it will increase the credit amount you use. But that's all for this video, guys. You know, if you have any questions, uh, ask me in the comment section down below and I uh, answer them as fast as I can. Yeah, I think that's all. And if you like this video, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and activate notification because 80 well, about 80% of people who's watching my videos not subscribed. I would really, really appreciate it, guys. And you can follow me on Twitter, Mixer, and join my Discord server. All the links you can find in the description. And until the next time, take care.